Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to make ESB80-66 as Modbus TCP server to monitor THT11 sensor and relays as coils. Let's get started. I use ESB80-66 as Modbus TCP server with Wi-Fi connection. THT11 sensor to monitor temperature and humidity. I save the result of sensor into Modbus holding register. Then, as output, I use two relays. I save the status of relays into Modbus coil register. I use two buttons as input to control the relays by writing the value of each coil register. I use node red as Modbus TCP client. Configure node red to connect to ESB IP address so node red can read the holding registers and read or write the core register to control the relays. This is ESB and node red. We can control the relay either through the node red dashboard or using buttons. Status of relays read from coil registers and show them into dashboard true or false. Then, if buttons in dashboard pressed, node red will write the call register based on the button value. Node red will read the holding register in Modbus server to get value of temperature and humidity, then display the values into gauge and chart. This is the required library for ESB code, which is the Modbus ESB 80-66 library. You can download it from GitHub or directly through the library manager in the Arduino IDE. If you download from GitHub, extract the zip file and copy to Arduino Libraries folder in Arduino folder located in Documents. This is ESB code. These codes if the required libraries. And this is DHT11 sensor pin configuration. This is core register configuration. I use to address of coils, 0 and 1. Declare the Modbus IP. We will use the MB in codes below. Use a coil syntax to configure or create the core register. Use a hosting register syntax to configure the holding register. I create four address of holding register for save value of temperature and humidity. I separate between the integer value and decimal in different register address. Extract the integer value and decimal value from sensor temperature and humidity, then write them into register. Control the relay's output based on the value of core register. These codes are for checking the button's status and write the core register based on the button's value. Before upload the code, make sure to configure correct ESB board and the port number. Select the serial monitor to get IP address of ESB, status of coils and value of temperature and humidity. I use Modbus Client X program to test to connect Modbus server of ESP. Select the connection and input the IP address. We can read the data for holding registers and core registers in Modbus TCP server.
We can see the changes in the value of the holding register based on the values displayed in the serial monitor in the Arduino ID. For the temperature value, I split it into an integer and a decimal. For example, if the temperature value is 33.7, I write it to the registers as two separate values, 33 in register 0 and 70 in register 1. In the core register, the value is represented as either true or false. If I press the button on ESB, the coil status becomes true, and if I release the button, it changes back to false. This is the no grid flows. I use Modbus Note to read and write the Modbus TCP server, configure the server, set the IP address, port number, and set the type to TCP. To read coil status, select function code to read coil status. To set the starting address to 0, and quantity is 2, it means it will read status address 0 and address 1. Display the result of read coil status into text node. This Modbus node for reading holding register set the address to 0 and quantity 4 because temperature and humidity have two register for integer value and decimal value. Add function node to get payload for temperature and humidity from the holding register. Combine the integer value and decimal value into one variable. Display the temperature and humidity values on a gauge visualization. Also, show these values on a line chart graph so that we can observe the changes in temperature and humidity over the time. Next, but a note to send Boolean payload, true or false to write the coil register. On Modbus write node, set the function for single coil and set the coil register address. This is the node read dashboard. Display each core register value into text, true or false. When button in ESB pressed and relay on, the value of register become true. If button released, the value back to false. The value temperature and humidity displayed in gauges, same with value in serial monitor of Arduino IDE. Buttons in the dashboard can write the core register value. When the green button is clicked, node red will set the core register to true and when the grey button is clicked, it will set the coil to false. This allows us to control the relay from the dashboard.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. See you in my next video.